one. So here we have the black Galaxy Z Fold 2. The first thing I would say is it is sexy. Oh, so very sexy. Compared to my original, which I wish I brought with me today, I normally have it, but it wasn't charged. They really got the hardware on this thing a lot better this time around. The hinge has a lot more resistance to it. And of course, that is attributed to the fact that you can hold the hinge at any point or stop the hinge at any point to utilize the in, in, inner screens how you want. The inner screen itself, we'll put it there. The inner screen itself is 120 hertz. I can't say it looks more vibrant than mine. I'm sure it does, but I don't have mine beside me to compare. Uh, we have our camera, your various cam camera modes, video, photo, single take, the front facing camera is as he has you have the uh, hole punch cut out on the inside as opposed to the notch that was on the front of course my V60 here doing the camera work regular pull down menu you're multitasking they do have some egg examples of the uh, triple app setup so when I push this it, it should open like I said three separate apps so I have camera up here files here and I have whoever I'm trying to message over here so in essence I should be able to take a picture here and just bring it into the texting field with whoever I'm trying to talk to and drag and drop files that she or he might send me and it'll appear here and vice versa it's a lot easier to get into things if you really want it to we have our cal calculator which personally I would use this with probably probably the news or something I don't, I don't know let's see uh, cal calculator oh you got your pop-up window so let's see if we can have multiple things open. Camera. So that's two. And camera of Chrome. And there, there, there you have it. You can have four things going at once if you really wanted to. I have my calculator out, which technically could be, I assume, inst Instagram or any other app you, you just want to have floating around, I know, your stocks perhaps. Then we have the web down here. We do want to add an account. No thanks. Okay. Close that up. Let's just go to, let's go back to, uh, right, let's go to maps. So you see it uh, still works, have one app floating up top, camera here, files there, text there. So you can really multi multitask a lot with this. Now, the windows do get pretty small, as with the first one when you're trying to do things. We have to keep that into uh, consideration when you get something like this, because everyone is going to compare this to the uh, Duo, 
The Duo really has two screens, one on each side, so that you're able to actually see more of the app that you're trying to do. This one you have little w windows. Not that it can't be done, but it really can. You can adjust windows as you see fit, having this large, large field down here really shows you you know what could be done you could have two larger windows there it's still not as large as the duo but it's more than use usable especially if it's like this let's see if we, if we turn this around and let's see if we just move this out the way well, you know what let's get rid of this Close that down. Open up uh, YouTube and messaging. Uh, let's go to messaging real quick. Okay. Yeah. There, there we go. Now, if you do it this way, this is kind of like what the duo would do. Only with the duo, you could angle it so that it's easier to hold when you have them side by side uh, uh, in the uh, land, land, land escape mode. So it's not that this cannot mimic Duo's actions, you just lose a lot of screen real estate. But you do get 120 hertz refresh rate, which is you know very pretty to look at. Now, we've seen the triples, we've seen the doubles. Let's see how uh, flex mode might work. So flex mode, oh, it's only one way? The flex mode allows the camera to be up here and your buns down here. So let me take a picture of myself. As you, as you can see, in the window there, we have, let's take a picture of all, 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 all this stuff. Okay, there's some something there. There's something there, all right. Now, as you can see, we have the view, what the viewfinder is seeing up top. Then we have the uh, picture re re reviewer here. What is that in there? Oh, I think, oh, I did something. Okay. Right. All right, good. Right, okay. You see here we have the picture, re the gallery here. We, have, we can change our photo settings here. And the viewfinder is still up top. So that's a nice little, little trick. I have no idea if, if the Duo has anything like that, I highly doubt it because it's not really photography focused in any way, shape, or form. But I, I do hope, if nothing else, the original Z Fold gets this in its own way. Yes, I know the hinge won't be able to stay at this angle because it's really not made for that. But just getting a feature like this over, over, overall would be a feat in itself. Uh, let's check out the uh, what do you, how, how do you do that? Get the cameras on both sides. I don't, I'm not quite sure. Um, maybe, maybe it's that. Cover screen to preview. Ah, and there it is. So, if I was taking a picture of myself, whoever is on the other side of this phone, that's what I would see, what the picture sees. And on the other side, oh, I turn, I turn it off. Let's, let's see if we can get, get that back. So one side we are seeing this, and who, that's me taking the picture. And on this side, they're seeing what the picture would look like. I want that picture on my fold forever. The Z, the Z Flip had that, that feature. Well, you could barely see, but it did indeed have it.
So we have the flex mode f features. Uh, I know there's no audio jack, so we can't really test out the sound. Um, we should be able to test out YouTube though. Let's see how that works. Close that. Uh, Wi-Fi seems to be kind of slow in here. Thanks. But even if it doesn't play, you see the type of viewing experience you can have with this type of device, as opposed to a, a device with two screens, which would have a bar in the middle, obscuring some of the picture. Well, not obscuring, but dividing the picture. With this one, large screen format, much more nicer to watch your movies and your YouTube and uh, your vid chats. Yes, I know, I'm issue. Like uh, what stuff on a tablet would be, because in essence, this is what the Z Fold 2 is when you open the screen up, a folding tablet. Now playing with this, notes. This is when, me personally, I, I would prefer to have a device that has some kind of pen input, because on this type of canvas, I would love to be able to write down notes and stories and ideas and things along those lines. Not that you can't. Well, I, actually, I don't think you can. I don't think this has any type of input. What? Well, not no type of pen input whatsoever. But we can try out the keyboard. How does this feel? It feels like any other Samsung keyboard. I can't really say that the keyboard feels much improved over anything else. Uh, the the uh, feedback is uh, the same, or what about the haptics? I'm not impressed with what it's doing because I personally, you've been using the original Fold and I've tried out the Note 20 and everything else, so it's not so much change that it's a feature that I'm like, wow, that's amazing. Even with the 120 refresh rate, it, it doesn't really change the typing X experience. I don't know why that gift is there. That's very, very bothersome. I would say though, I do wish I had my fault here for a better comparison. This is the much cleaner device. You can tell where they upgraded, especially on the, hard, the hardware. This flex mode here, being able to actually keep it at any point. Outside it's the same, phone call is the same. We've all seen that. We've all seen that gallery. We've all, we've all seen that. But if I do this, no. how, how, how would that work? Because as soon as I open it up, oh, there it is. Sorry about the off angle, but. Oh, it opened up on the inside. So, I think you only, you only have so far you can actually op open it before the phone, whatever it is the detector, decides to play the video on the inner screen. Because now it's back on the outside screen, which is fine. But it, if I want to play it, I don't think I'm able to put it past this angle here, or it's going to flip back to the inside. Let's see. Yep. Once you get to about here, almost 90 degrees, it flips to the inner screen. So I guess they feel that around here, 
is the viewable angle you probably be watching whatever you're trying to watch at. Right here. It like, isn't bad when you're down on the table, the light angle, it's actually pretty good. And with this lar lar larger screen, it is more than usable. I know I said that my small screen on my original is fine, but being able to use this one, I do see why this would be a huge uh, what was it? I do see why and how this is a huge improvement over the uh, original. It just really gives you that phone feel, a narrow phone, which to me is fine because I can grip it very easily. It's, it's a narrow phone, but it's still a current phone because uh, as always the weight feels great. It's very well balanced and able to do it here, you feel great, then able to do it here. Being able to just open it up and get to this magnificent screen on the inside as always, which is the point of a Galaxy Fold, feels even better. So the Z Fold 2 is definitely a more premium device than the original. And this gold color here really, really uh, stands out. But for the first time, I think I prefer the black. I was never a fan of the black before, but I think the black with a nice blue or yellow hint, yeah, the yellow is much more Batman-esque, would be great. But as far as the hardware of it, you can tell that they did their homework and they really went back to the drawing board with the original fold to come out with this so soon. The gap between is there still, not as dominant as with the original. I do feel it, it closes a little bit tighter. The display, you can still open with one hand, but it's not nearly as easy because of the hinge, same hinge as the Z Flip that can stay on any edge, on any angle. You have your hole punch display, which gets, which replaces the notch of the uh, original. And the screen, though it's not much bigger, it looks amazingly bigger because the notch isn't there and the bezels are so much s smaller, at least apparently. It's just a much more cleaner screen. Now, it feels very uh, sturdy, much more sturdy, like this isn't going, this isn't going to break. And the screen itself feels like glass. I know it's foldable glass. The, my original had the plastic screen, that odd substrate. So I can automatically feel the difference because I know what I'm used to holding. And this is definitely a huge upgrade in mater materials when compared to the original Z Fold. Oh, fold. I hate to call it Z. Yeah, my, my interest isn't so much in this though. I like it, but I'm not wowed by it. I'm not floored by it. I love the execution, but at the same time, it's not anything I haven't seen before. But wow factor is a little bit diminished only because I have the uh, original. But it, 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 it's a, it's a update, a nice little update. Will I change mine over to this for the right price? But over, 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 overall though, the difference between this one and my are, are not so fast that I feel the need that I have to upgrade to this particular one. Perhaps the Z Fold 3 when they add the S Pen, as one can hope. That wouldn't even be a question. But as it stands, as beautiful as this is, it is a beautiful device. Personally, I think I might just stay with my original Fold, at least for now. Still a wonderful device though, I do love this.
much more like a phone. Much more like a phone.